Greetings and welcome to the Oak Grove United Methodist Church podcast. I'm Elizabeth Lochran, the Director of Children's Ministry here, and I'm joined by two very special guests, Morgan and Grace. You want to say hello? Hi! We're going to be talking about Christmas, and we're going to be getting to know them a little bit better. But first, I want to share a little bit more about what our series is. So all month long, we've been hearing from children about their very favorite things about Christmas, why Christmas is important to them, some of their favorite family traditions, and just in general, all the fun things that we look forward to this time of year. And each week, we've also been learning a little bit about the Christmas story, and we've been learning about different characters and their what we think their thoughts and feelings were as the birth of Jesus is getting closer and as they're interacting with Mary and Joseph. Today, we're going to hear about the shepherds and the angels in a little bit, but first, we are going to start by getting to know our guests. Thank you so much for being here. Are you guys ready to start? Yes. All right, Morgan, do you want to share a little bit about yourself, your family? I'm 11. I have a twin brother, Owen, and I have two other brothers. Elliot is three, and Miles is nine. That's a lot of brothers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then what grade are you in right now? I'm in fifth. How's fifth grade going? Tough. Oh, hopefully a Christmas break and a Thanksgiving break will help that feel better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of stuff due tomorrow. Oh, my. Well, thank you for being here today. All right. How about you, Grace? I'm Grace, and I'm 11, as well as Morgan. And um, I have two brothers. One's Gavin. He's 21. And one's Grant. He's um, nine. Actually, Grant and Miles are friends. That's great. Do you want to share about anything else about your family? And my family has a lot of traditions that I'm excited to tell you guys about. Oh, well, would you like to go first then? Sure. Okay, tell us about Christmas. Christmas is like one of my favorite holidays because every time I wake up in the morning, I am really excited because I'm glad to remember that Jesus was born on Christmas. Very nice. That's a good thing to remember, right? Yes. It's, I like remembering that God is with us. I think yes. that for me is what my favorite thing about Christmas is remembering. Yes. Yeah. How about you, Morgan? What do you love about Christmas? I like how I get to give presents to people Ooh, and it nice. makes them so happy. I can just see when their face lights up mm-hmm. after they open their gift. Do you have a story that you want to share? Maybe like a, a favorite time when that happened? Yeah. When I was five, I gave these like little keychain things to my cousins Mm -hmm. they were older than me Mm -hmm. like five years older and um we did it at our grandparents house and when they had their gifts for me I like ran into the bathroom and then I like was so shy about it and then my mom told pulled me out and said they love it I love that that's awesome do you have any stories you want to share well when I was about um, maybe seven, maybe eight, maybe nine, I don't remember, <laughs> um, I got an iPad and I cried so much because my mom was so nice to get me one because mine was broken. I actually think I remember hearing about this story from your parents. Yeah, that was a really big gift, right? It made you feel so special. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm hearing in your story, too, that you made your cousins feel really special. And maybe you didn't even know that they were going to feel that way, right? But they did. And then it makes giving so much more fun once you have that kind of magical moment. Do you have some special gifts? I don't want you to have any spoilers for anyone, but are there some special gifts you're looking forward to giving people this year? Yes. Yes. Is there any hint that you can share without giving it away? Um. It's to my mom and my little brother, Elliot. Oh, wow. Well, I can't wait to hear how that goes. That's going to be exciting. Do you have anything that you're looking forward to? Um, I have a gift that's coming that I know what it is. That's coming for you? Yeah. And you already know? Yeah. That's I'm exciting? So yeah. Do you want to share about it? Yeah, I'm getting rats. Wow. How's that going to go? Well, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so they're coming. Will they come right at Christmas? Yes, I and think then so. Will they stay in a special place? Yes. What special place will that be? In my bedroom, like where under my bed where my chair is. Wow. And so what made you excited about this gift? Well, it made me excited because I've been obsessed with rats for a long time. So you must know a lot about them. Yes. You want to share some facts with us? <laughs> well, 
One of the things that I like to share about rats is that they're um, really sweet and intelligent. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. You're welcome. I did not know that, and now I do. All right. Is there anything else you want to share about Christmas? I just love it. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. What makes you feel the best other than the gifts? I like going to church on Christmas Eve. Me too. Same. Yeah. I have a funny story I can share. So I'm the oldest of my sisters. I have two younger sisters and my um, the next youngest. So the middle of us, when she was little, we would be at the um, Christmas Eve service that was at, in the dark, you know, where the lights go out and we sing Silent Night. And she had bangs, kind of like your bangs, not exactly like your bangs. And she's also safe. Just so you know, I'll already go ahead and tell you <laughs> in case you can tell where the story's going. No one was hurt in the story. But she was holding her candle and she was focusing so hard on singing and she was looking at the words of the song. And then she leaned a little too close to the candle and the ends of her bangs <laughs> singed. So they didn't catch on fire all the way. It just, you know how you get close and things get really hot and they start to melt. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to her hair right here. So we learned a valuable lesson about fire safety on that Christmas Eve. And like I said, she wasn't hurted. She had, didn't have any burns or anything like that. Um, it was mostly just a funny story. And now we all know to pay really good attention when the candles go around and to light them the right way and not, you know, turn the fire on people and things like that. I do love that service. It's a beautiful time. It's kind of nice that we all turn the lights out, right? And we're in the dark with all of our family and our friends. We don't really have a lot of moments like that in the church, do we? No. Yeah. Why do you think that's so special to people? I think it just makes them feel happy. Yeah. It makes me feel excited and ready for um, learning more about God and Jesus. Yeah, there's. I think there's something about like when it's dark and quiet, even if we're singing, we're kind of singing quietly, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we can just hear a little bit more clearly. You know, we're a little bit more focused because the light shows so much. But, you know, when it's dark, you can't see as much. And just that little bit of candlelight, you can just see right what's around you. I think you're right. I think you can just hear from God a little bit better. You can really feel the presence of God. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to share about those moments? I think it was last year. My dad, he plays keyboard. He was up on the stage playing. Mm -hmm. And my little brother, Elliot, during Silent Night, my mom let him hold a candle. Mm -hmm. And then he was like trying to eat it. And during the whole <laughs> song, my mom was like trying to pull his hand away. Yes, that's smart. It does kind of look like it might be ice cream the way you hold it. You know, and babies are very curious. I know, um, so my baby, Stella Ray, it was her for cr first Christmas last year, and she did not get a candle, but she can't really hold things very well at that age. And um, we have this picture of her, and I think her brother, Oliver's holding the candle in front of her face, and she's going, she's, you know, she hadn't seen fire before, even though it was just a tiny fire. She was just mesmerized. And it sort of reminds me of what you were saying about how special that night is. It just... It sort of quiets you down and helps you focus. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for sharing. Those are beautiful thoughts. I really appreciate that. So I want to turn our attention to um, the Bible story and the part that we're going to talk about today. All right. So <clears throat> in this part of the Bible story, we're going to be hearing about shepherds and angels. We're going to start with what book of the Bible? Luke. Okay. And chapter? Two. Very good. Nearby, shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their sheep at night. The Lord's angels stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. Look, I bring good news to you. Wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great assembly of heavenly forces was with the angel praising God. They said, Glory in heaven and on earth peace among whom he favors. Very good. Thank you. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go right now to Bethlehem and see what's happened. Let's confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. 
They went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When he saw this, they reported what they had been told about the child. Everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds told them. Mary committed these things to memory and considered them carefully. The shepherds returned home glorifying the and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Everything happened just as they had been told. Thank you. That was beautiful reading, both of you. All right, so there's a lot going on, and I know it's hard to read and pay attention at the same time, so we can kind of talk through things. But <clears throat> when we start off, it says, nearby shepherds were living in the field. So what's going on in the story when it starts? What's going on is they're like, um, they're like with their sheep and mm -hmm. trying to keep them alive and mm -hmm. stuff like that. What do you think it's like for the shepherds on a typical shepherd night? I think it just feel normal. Yeah, probably. You know, they might be tired or maybe they're used to staying awake at night and they're Maybe they drank some shepherd coffee. I guess they probably didn't have real coffee, but whatever they had. It would probably feel like a school day for them. <laughs> yeah. Or a work day. Just a regular day. Mm -hmm. All right. But it wasn't a regular day, was it? No. What no. happened? Jesus was born. Yeah. And the angels came. Yeah. Do you think they were kind of, um, yeah, this is my normal night. Angels are here. Jesus is born. I think they were very shocked. <laughs> I think they and were excited. Too. Yeah. I love one of my favorite lines in this story is everyone who heard was amazed at what the shepherds told them. So they were so excited. Have you been so excited about something that, you know, you don't keep it to yourself? You can't wait to go tell everybody? Yes. Maybe like what you get for Christmas. You want to go back to school just so you can tell everybody about your great Christmas? Yes. <laughs> but then you're back at school and sometimes that's not always great. Yeah. Well, it's pretty exciting to think that the shepherds got to see baby Jesus. What do you think they thought? I think they were amazed. Mm -hmm. I think they were excited. Yeah. If you could ask the shepherds, like if you could have bumped into them that night after they saw Jesus, what would you ask them? What it felt like. What do you think they'd say? Did it feel amazing and, yeah. and holy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To be that close to God? Yes. Yeah. It's hard to sometimes feel close to God in the way that they probably did, right? Mm -hmm. Because God was a person at that point, right? God was Jesus, and God was with them in a way that God isn't always with us, right? Mm -hmm. So we had the Holy Spirit, and it's the same but different. This is what the angel said, by the way. Glory to God in heaven and on earth, peace among those whom God favors. I think that means like he, the people that care about him and actually feel love for him and believe in him. Mm -hmm. I think that he like gives them something in return. Like when you trust God and you know that God loves you, mm -hmm. that feeling of peace you get. Yeah. Yeah. And then we haven't really talked much about the angels. So what do we think about them? I think they're very um, kind and excited and happy for the people mm -hmm. and really like proud that the that Jesus was born and that there would be a Christ in the world. Yeah. With everybody. I imagine just lots of beautiful glowing light and sort of like maybe maybe not so much talking, but almost singing, like everything they said might sound like a song. I don't know if that's true. That's just how I imagine it. And then we didn't talk about there's an angel in other parts of the Christmas story, too. There's an angel who comes to somebody else. Do you remember? Yes. When Mary is like sitting in, at home, an mm -hmm. angel comes and tells her that she's going to have a baby. Yeah. You're exactly right. Yeah. So there's another angel in this part of the story, too. Do you think that angel's in this group, or do you think that angel is like, no, I already had my turn. You guys go on ahead. I think that there, he was in the group because yeah. it was full of joy and excitement, the same as Mary and the mm -hmm. same with the shepherds. I think you said something really important about how, like, how it feels to be a part of a group, yes. right? So the shepherds were a part of a group, mm -hmm. right? And then they got to be in a bigger group when they met mary and joseph and saw jesus and then the angels were part of the group and sort of this group that was just the shepherds just kind of grew and grew and grew and because the shepherds went and told everybody what they saw it sounds like the group continued to grow mm -hmm. so kind of in a way we're part of that group how does it make you feel to think about yourself as being part of that group i think i'd feel very special yeah me too does it make you feel like 
now that I know I'm a part of this group, what's my next move? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what is your next move? I think it would be to tell more people about them. Yeah. My next move would be like worship God more and tell a lot of people. Same with Morgan. Yeah. How do you like to worship God? I like to pray every night and mm-hmm. maybe sing in the choir mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Do you have a favorite song? My favorite song is um, a jubilant song. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I love singing. I think most every song that I learned as a child, I still remember now. But if I learn a new song now, I don't remember it as well. (laughs) So all the songs that you're learning, you'll get to have forever. How about you? How do you worship God? Um, I sing in the choir and I pray every night. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And I also do handbells. Oh, that's right. Do you have a favorite handbell song? I think it's the last song that we did last year. Very good. We'll have to figure out what the title is because I don't remember it. But it felt good to play. Mm-hmm. Was it like a joyful song or was it slow and peaceful? I think I remember it being slow. Oh, very nice. So that kind of reminds me, the slow part reminds me of what we talked about earlier with Christmas Eve being kind of like still and quiet. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy talking about this. Is there anything else about Christmas? I like the feeling, um, like when I was seven, mm-hmm. um, I woke up and I I forgot it was Christmas. And then I walked and my brothers, they were, the light was on and they were jumping in their bed. And then I remembered it was Christmas. <laughs> That's like a double surprise. So you went to bed knowing it was Christmas. You woke up forgetting it was Christmas. And then you got to remember it again. <laughs> it's like a double Christmas. How about you? Is there anything else that you want to share? Christmas is probably one of my favorite parts of the year, and I have one more story. Oh, I would love to hear it. One year, um, I was like six. Mm-hmm. I still have this bike. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, me and my brother woke up, and we were so excited. We were jumping on each other. We were hugging each other. We were screaming, Mom, get up. Dad, get up. And they finally got up at like 6 a.m., and they sleep until 10. <laughs> so we woke up at like 5 a.m. that wow. morning. And um, we go out and we see two bikes and we scream in excitement. We were so excited because we needed new bikes. And that's when I learned how to ride a bike. Thank you so much for sharing all these great stories. Just one last ask. Anything else that you can think of that you want to share? Any special Christmas message you want to send to anyone? If you have siblings, don't fight with them on Christmas. You are really going to regret it. Those are wise, wise words from both of you. (laughs) I think our listeners will really appreciate this. What do you think? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good advice. I will have to pass that along to my own children. So we're cl- coming to the end of our podcast. You want to say goodbye, Merry Christmas? Bye, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you will join us for our Christmas Eve services. We have a traveler service if you're going out of town. It will be Thursday, December 19th at 6.30 in the Fellowship Hall. On Christmas Eve, December 24th, we have a service at 3 p.m. that is for children by children. Then at 5 p.m. we have a service in the the Fellowship Hall, a modern service, and we have a traditional service in the sanctuary, and those are both streamed. So if you can't come in person, you can watch online. And then we have a service at 8 p.m. in the sanctuary. We hope you'll be able to join us at one of those, and we wish you all the best. Merry Christmas. Bye.